Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Coming at you guys strong, fast, and hard with these episodes. Alright. Alright. Sounded kind of bad. Anyway, um, let's check this letter out. What is this letter all about? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's put this away. Uh, don't know who Mary Linton is, but she sounds like an interesting lady, so... Ooh, look at my beard. It's starting to grow a little bit. Uh, what is this? Target practice? Can I learn how to shoot here? Oh, he can teach me how to go hunting. I'm good on the hunting. I don't need any help there. Where's my horse? He's way over here. Let's go see Miss Mary Lou or whoever the heck her name is. And Valentine. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to kick it off. I, th I think I still have a bounty on my head, though. I got $76. So I don't have quite enough to pay off my bounty. But we will find some deer or something on the way. And we'll pay off that bounty. All right, Mary Lou. That's her name? And what's this? John Marston. John needs to speak to me. All right, I'll speak to John. But first, let me go holler at this lady real quick. Mary Linton. Cool, Mary. I'm on my way. All right, we're coming up on Mary Lou now. This looks like our house right outside of Valentine. Ooh, easy now, easy. Let's see what she has to say. Hopefully we don't got to take her on a date or nothing crazy like that. I remember that in Grand Theft Auto. You have to date people, drive them around, not make them too crazy. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mm. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken daddy's heart. 
Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Do I get a choice? All right, I'll help. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. But that you already mean? owe me. Uh, shoot, I'm about to say what that means, you. Come on, girl. Alright, let's find out where this guy is. Hope he's not too far away. Oh god. Yeah, it's a little bit of a way. Miss Mary Lincoln. I still can't go over there in Strawberry. Strawberry, they do not like me over there. So, uh, we, we won't go that way. Alright, I'll meet you guys over at the station. Alright, we're coming up on... Wherever Miss Mary Lou's brother is. We're coming up on that right now. So... I guess we should get the gun out. Get the right ammo out too. Yeah, we wanna use a split point? I think that's what we wanna do. Oh man, it's a freaking cult. Maybe I'll use the double barrel. Look, look, look at the outfits. You know they up to no good. Shell of safety. 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 Shell the boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, <laughs> His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? <laughs> I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! Right, here we go. I didn't ask for your help! Alright, here we go with the... The chasing down other people again. Alright. Good thing I got this good horse. For Christ's sake, Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? You know, earlier I was trying to get those deer and stuff. They wouldn't pop up for nothing. Now they're everywhere. Just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Almost. Almost close enough. As soon as it turns red, he's mine. Just stop and let's talk about this. This is none of your damn business. Ooh. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see where he went. Now I see him. This is, that was supposed to be my spot to catch him. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I'm gonna have to answer to you. Oh, you gonna answer to me. You gonna answer to somebody, sir. Come on, come on, red, turn red, turn red. Come on, turn Jamie, red. your sister's worried about you. Come uh, on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. Dang, this Girl, kid is fast. Like, I myself. thought my horse was like the fastest horse in the game. Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're all my right. friends. Uh, look at all these deer I could be getting. If you getting. don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. Bro, if you what shoot are you me. What you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Oh, here we go. Let me get this boy before he hurt somebody. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, he got away. Is that... Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Oh, kid, God. I gotta disarm him, I bet. Leave me alone. Yes, I got it. Now calm down. First try. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, kid. Big oaf. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. I wish we were sweet on each other again. How far is she well, away from me, anyway? Hopefully, we, we rode closer. Yeah. Uh... If I just take the train this tracks, wasn't how I thought today would turn that's a out. lot faster. I'm it's taking been a train. a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Yeah. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Well, that didn't take too long. Found the shortcut.
Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. The one that got away. Twice. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Yep. That's what love will do to you, man. Not always, but sometimes. Clear. I need to pass. What? What do you need? I see something on the screen. Uh, I went away. Whatever it was. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he is. I'm too old to get a job, Mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Almost bet. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It was fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Sure. Don't do pickpocket me. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Okay. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Okay, that was it. Hey, All right, evening, partner. All right, cool. Let me um do something different right now. I want to try to. What is that paper? Oh, train paper. robbers still at large. Let me see if I can grab a, a bounty. I haven't done this yet, so. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, Mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. 
feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. All right, I'm about this one. I like this one. And we need him alive. That's an important point. All right, all right. I got it. Oh, make him be alive. Shoot. Let me brush my horse first. Then I'll head out that way. Because I need the money anyway to pay out these bounties. I feel bad. All right. Uh, how far? Not terribly far. Let's head that way. I do have to pause for one quick. What? I just to get the board. Yeah, I do have to pause for one quick sec, guys, to feed my dog and let him out. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. We're back. Cuts aren't too long for you guys. They're in an instant. You probably don't even notice if I didn't say anything. All right. I feel like I'm always, always moving in the nighttime. Whoa. Sometimes it's good to follow the path so you don't fall off a cliff and die. We gotta be getting kinda close, right? Yeah, 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 we're getting close. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. Search the area to locate the bounty hunter. Yep. Come on, horsey. There we go. Alright, let me get off my horse. I see it. Okay. I saw a little horse or something upstairs. Let's see. This should clean me off, right? Oh, you can't fight against. You can't fight that stream too much. It appears. All right, get down. Can I save? Of course not. Of course I can't save. Alright, now I gotta find this guy. Oh, there he is. What we got here? Do I have to confront him? So. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No. Uh, not me, sir. It's because... I want to buy some medicine. And I, I heard... Um, I heard good things. I'll pay. In gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Mm -hmm. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, God. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Right, I gotta get this idiot up. Come on, buddy. 
Don't fall. Don't fall. I need this money. Oh, and you need to stay alive. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. What? Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. Are you serious? Oh, really do not. But I can't see nothing. Yeah. There we go. All right, where's the idiot? And why is that red there? I don't know where he's at. Shit. I got across. All right, maybe if I do that, it it keeps swimming. He show is making this hard. Look out, the rapids. Hold your breath. Keep your head above water. Remind me never to do this at nighttime again. Alright, come on, idiot. Press to throw the lasso at the idiot. Got you. Come on! Uh, I don't got time for this, bro. Come on, please. You're kidding me right now. This dude is an idiot. Oh, come on. He gonna get away. Yep. Press R2 to throw the lasso while aiming at the bounty. I know, I know. If I can just get close enough to get this idiot. He done made me run all the way down the stream. I done pressed the wrong button and he done got away. Come on, will you please run? Arthur, you're faster than this guy, I promise you. Got him, thank goodness. Hold L2, lasso, all right. And press O when you got him. Thank you. You judge. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <clears throat> All right, where's my horse? All right, Let's take you in. Hey, I'm gonna loot him though. I gotta do it. Go out every time. Oh, he had money. That I guess I'm not close enough to my horse. Where is my horse and that horse is down here? Oh my gosh. Temporary horse, my horse. All right, guys, so yeah. I gotta make my way back to my horse. So I'm just gonna cut till we get there because this is gonna be a, a little bit of a minute. All right, so yeah, I'll cut when I'm there. All right, so. With the power of editing, I got my horse, we got the bounty, and we're taking him back to Valentine's to drop him off in the jail. All good things, right? All good things. And speaking of editing, man, there's so much that you guys don't see from uh, what I edit. So just think about it. For whatever you see, just know, multiply that by three. That's how much I'm actually playing and recording. Yeah, about a third is what y'all actually see. What do you know about the thing, you more? Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Come on, go through there. 
Just drop him right here. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. That's good. I'll take it. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. Now, that sheriff is up to no good right there. Morning, partner. You can get more bounty missions from bounty posters around the towns. Hmm, cool. I like that. All right, so next thing I want to do, I want to do a couple more things. I want to go to the post office. I don't know what that saloon is about. Yeah, I want to go to the post office. Where is the post office in this town? That's all I can do for right now. After I go to the post office, I want to buy a new saddle so we can carry more stuff at some point. But I don't think I have enough money right now. Cause as soon as I get done paying this, you ain't right in the head, is you? Excuse me. Yeah, cause as soon as I get done paying this, I'm probably gonna be broke. But they made me do it. You guys are here. They made me shoot the cops, the lawman, I should say. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come take my eighty-five dollars. Oh, that hurts so bad. Ah, hello. What do you need? That's all I needed. I just want to be a good guy. All right, now I think I got enough. I think I have enough to go to the stable. It, 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 I tell you what, man. It definitely does not pay to be a crook or a um, uh, what's it called? A bad lawman or whatever it's called. Bad, a bad. Not bounty hunter. What's the word I'm looking for? Outlaw. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it doesn't not pay. Because you gotta... It doesn't make sense. You're gonna have people chasing you, trying to kill you. Because they're bounty hunters. It's not worth it. <laughs> Definitely not worth it. Alright, so let's upgrade the saddle so we can carry more. Alright, here we go. Come on in there. Come on, let's do it. Howdy. Howdy. Can I help you with your horse. Um, I, I want to buy some stuff. For you if you need stabling. I don't need no stabling, bro. I just need a saddle. Let's see. How much is this one? Improved. Seventy-six dollars. Uh, you course. All right, we're gonna get that one next. The Gurdon Vero saddle or whatever that is. We're gonna info. See, it gives us uh, plus sixteen percent core drain. Drain rate 14% and regen rate of 6%. Right now, the what's the saddle that we have? This is the one we have. And what does it do for us? 4, 6, and 4. So when we get enough money, we will take care of that. Got some right. real sharp stuff. I want our horse to last forever. All right, so next, all I need to do is head out to... Back over to here, to John Marson. Um... And as I guys, if I told you guys multiple times, John Marston is the protagonist from the last Red Dead Redemption, the original. So glad to see him back in the game. He, oh, oh so I was a spoiler, but you, if you probably played the first one. Basically, what happened was he died. Okay, in the first one, he died, um, and I'm pretty sure they buried him. So I don't think he can come back. But if there's any chance he can come back, I'm all about it. So I don't think it's too much of a spoiler because if you play in this one, you don't have to have played the first one, but you probably should have played the first one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I will get us back to camp where John is, and yeah, we will start another mission. I think we got enough time. It's just me, guys. I'm back. I'm going to get some soup is what I'm going to do. I need to eat. Oh, man. You guys aren't bringing enough supplies here. That's for sure. There we go. Come on, hitch up. Good one, 
My horse gets dirty so fast. There we go. I'm gonna get some of this food too. Before we do anything else, cause look at my stuff. The stew is currently being prepared. Check again in the afternoon. Are you are you serious? Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I don't I don't think you know younger version of me. Anyway. Uh let me donate some stuff. Uh yeah. Cause the more you contribute, the more the other people contribute and the more they like you. So let me get some items. I ain't giving no money. Um this is seven bucks. I'll donate that. There we go. See the pocket watch is pocket watch is worth twelve. The other one is worth the gold pocket watch is worth ten. So got a lot of these. I donate some of these. There we go. Another one of these. There we go. Sweet. I'm a good guy. There we go. I think that's good enough for now. Boom. I'm donating is what I'm doing. Sorry to hear that. All right, John. What do you got for me, buddy? Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. Oh, There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. So we're going to go to that refinery that those guys were trying to keep us out of earlier. All right, sounds like a good idea to me. Wagons can be stolen for John that are on a blip. All right, cool. So, um... Where is it? Yeah, player. Let me just want to check my guy, make sure he's wearing the right clothes. Weight is average, temperature is fair. And I'm honorable. Okay, cool. What about that suit, though? Let's go check on that suit to see if it's good. You see how that M is flashing? I think I need... I don't know if that's new. If that flashing means it's new or what? What's up with the stew, man? Good day, Man, give me no stew. Fine, I didn't want no stew, no way. Shoot. Let's go. Alright. I gotta find my way over to uh, one of these JJ wagons. I just steal any one of them. Cornwall oil wagon. Alright. Sure. Why not? I'll take one of them. Alright, I think I'm coming up on a place now. I gotta take one of these. Oil wagon. Oh, 
Hopefully I don't get caught. I'm definitely probably gonna get caught. Alright. Set the horse right there. I'm gonna try to stealthy approach first. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm out. Alright, I gotta shoot these guys. Maybe not. If I just go. I'm out. Are they still after me? Alright, I'm out. Right, let me get up here. Goodbye. What? There we go. Are you done? No. They, the, the thing, the oil thing is leaking. There we go. Goodbye. What? Dead eyes too? Who shot? What? Uh, all right, I'm back in this bad boy. All right, hopefully I won't die this time. Oh, uh, somebody saw me. Oh my God, really? Uh. Yeah, I know. Crime was reported. I'm wanted. I get it. Now I just gotta take this oil wagon all the way across town. Now I have another bounty that I gotta pay off. Man. It's almost like, how, how can you even be honorable and make money? Right? Because I had to shoot the guy. He wouldn't leave me alone. I have no idea where my horse is. Oh god, you, you're kidding. No, 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 no. It's a roadblock right there. I'm gonna turn this bad boy around. You gotta be out your mind. No, they're not gonna get me. They're not gonna be slick. I'm gonna take this bad boy off road. I think we fooled him. Okay, sweet. Oh. I didn't know they would create roadblocks. I didn't know there was a thing in the game. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Now hopefully we can get this bad boy back in one piece this time. They won't blow any holes in it. Lawman. All right, coast is clear. Whew. All right, I feel good now. I feel good about this. How far are we? Uh, we're not that far, I guess. We can get there. All right, and we made it, guys. Woo! Thank goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how do I turn this thing in there? All right, not the, not the best driving I've ever done, but this should do. This should do. Spin it, spin it. There we go. Sweet. Got it. Wasn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> nice.
guys. That wasn't too bad. Now all I gotta do is go get my horse back and I should be good. Your horse is out of whistling distance. I know. I know, because I just had to run. So hopefully he still has my perfect pelt on him. Cause I just it took me forever to get a perfect deer. Alright. So I'm gonna go grab my horse and then we're gonna Do we have time for one more? Who is this? John is blinking. I wish I knew what that blinking meant. Who is this? Micah. Oh, Micah asked you to meet him near the camp in Strawberry. Oh, because we're we're not what's it called? Outlaws anymore. Outlaws anymore. Uh, that was a bad shot. That was a terrible shot. See what I mean? I, I'm not too good at this game. Uh, that one was okay though. You still alive? How about now? There we go. I'm just trying to get the meat. But anyway, uh, I will catch you guys. I think that is enough for today. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.